Hi, I'm Cassandra, the joyful artist. Do you sometimes wonder, is less really more? In this video, I share some practical art tips and insights into my creative process, including how to declutter your paintings to make great art. You'll see me creating monochromatic elegance in gorgeous ivory. Currently, I am drawn to the peace and beauty of white. Many people think white is an absence of colour, but the opposite is true. White light is a combination of all colours in the spectrum. Emptiness dancing is beautifully layered with sensuously sultry glazes of textured beeswax, white crayon, pure titanium white pigment and star studded with quartz crystals. One of the notable uses of crystal geodes is spiritual healing. This piece positively sparkles. I hope you enjoy watching my creative process and understanding a little bit more about the things that inspired this piece. You'll love the light-hearted spirit of fun I have infused into this painting, especially in the times we are living in now. Recently, I began exploring a wonderful new technique using a small element I purchased from the local department store. I used a couple of old saucepans that I repurposed from an op shop and began melting large amounts of beeswax. It's really fun doing it this way. I'm using white beeswax here because I didn't want the natural colour of beeswax to muddy my white palette. You can see here where I've layered a, a coat and put some of the natural honey colour of the beeswax on an initial layer and then I've actually masked off the sides so that I can keep them nice and tidy. This painting is actually repurposed from another painting which I wasn't happy with any longer. Look at the wonderful, wonderful texture. It's so gorgeous. I like to work horizontally. Normally when I'm working with acrylics, I like to work on the floor, but in this case I'm dealing with hot beeswax and so it felt safer to work on a table. Also, it's less stretching of the back and less likelihood for accidents to occur. So I'm just going to the stove and getting my big pot of hot wax and just pouring it all over the board. It's lovely because you get wonderful textures this way and you can create extra textures just through your brush strokes and dabbing and then layering in different amounts of beeswax in different places and that gives it its real luster later when you see the finished piece.
clay mortar and pestle now and I'm just grinding up the beautiful crystals, the quartz crystals and I'm putting these smaller pieces along the middle of the painting pretty much like the chakra. I decided to use seven crystals along the middle of the painting inspired in part by the chakras that our whole body is an energy body composed of spiritual or etheric matter that extends several inches beyond the physical body. The aura contains within it psychic centers or chakras and there are seven major chakras in the body and hundreds of minor chakras. The key to health and well-being is to keep our chakras in balance. So this whole painting is imbued with spiritual energy. If you want more information about my books, my artworks, creativity courses and in-person art retreats, please visit my website cassandragaysford.com And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.